Hello viewers, welcome to AP's Ophthalmology Pulse. Today we shall discuss the special findings of idiopathic epiretinal membranes and an OCT-based classification. An epiretinal membrane is characterized by fibrocellular proliferation at the vitreoretinal interface above the internal limiting membrane and appears on OCT as a discrete, irregular and hyperreflective line above the inner retinal surface, frequently accompanied by wrinkling of the underlying retina with hyperreflective spaces between the ERM and the internal limiting membrane. Prominent retinal distortion produced by an epiretinal membrane is referred to as macular pucker. Now here you can see an epiretinal membrane. You can also see a continuous band of the inner retinal layers across the foveal region. This is termed as continuous ectopic inner foveal layers or IFL. And based on this, Goveto and colleagues have developed an OCT-based classification of idiopathic epiretinal mem membranes. IFL is defined as a hyporeflective or hyperreflective band extending from the inner nuclear and inner plexiform layers across the foveal region and visible in all OTCs, OCT scans centered in the fovea. Um, here you can see the uh, extension from the inner nuclear to the inner plexiform layer. Govertol et al. classified epiretinal membranes into four stages. Stage 1 is defined as the presence of a mild ERM with negligible morphological or anatomical disruption. All retinal layers are clearly identified with easily distinguishable boundaries. The foveal depression is either normal or slightly shallow. Stage 2 is defined as the presence of ERMs associated with more progressive retinal distortion. While the foveal depression is lost and a characteristic stretching of the outer nuclear layer is present, all retinal layers are defined and clearly identified with OCT. Stage 3 is defined as the presence of an ERM with continuous ectopic inner foveal layers anomalously crossing the central foveal area. The foveal depression is absent and widening of the outer nuclear layer is often less pronounced when compared with stage 2 ERMs. In stage 3 ERMs, all retinal layers are clearly identified on OCT. Stage 4 is defined as an ERM complicated by significant retinal thickening and remarkable anatomic disruption of the macula. Continuous ectopic inner foveal layers are present. Retinal layers are noted to be significantly distorted, disorganized and not clearly identified with OCT. To put it very simply, look for the presence of Eiffel. If it is absent, it's a stage 1 or stage 2. If the fovea is fairly normal, it's a stage 1 and if the foveal contour is lost, it is a stage 2. If Eiffel is present, note whether the inner retinal layers are easily made out. If yes, it's a stage 3 and if the distinctions between the various layers are not made out, it is a stage 4. The visual acuity is better in stages 1 and 2 and the retinal thickness is lesser in stage 1 compared to stage 4 ERMs. In addition to Eiffel, traction produced by epiretinal membranes produce additional findings on the OCT in the central bouquet, a 100 micron diameter subfovial area comprised of a dense array of both cones and Muller cells. The cotton ball sign is the appearance of a thickened or roundish fuzzy hyperreflective area between the inner segment ellipsoid zone and the interdigitation zone in the central fovea. Foveal detachment is the presence of a central pocket of sub-neurosensory hyporeflectivity or subretinal fluid. Acquired vitelliform lesion appears as a dome-shaped subretinal hyperreflective material located external to the ellipsoid zone and internal to the retinal pigment epithelium. The tractional central bouquet abnormalities observed in idiopathic epiretinal membranes have been considered as subsequent stages of the same disorder, beginning with the cotton ball sign, followed by the subfovial detachment, and later the acquired vitelliform lesion. The best corrected visual acuity is better in eyes with a cotton ball sign and worse in eyes with an acquired vitelliform lesion. Advanced changes due to traction include ellipsoid zone loss and macular holes. 
Here are some additional pictures to help familiarize yourself with OCT signs of epiretinal membranes. The picture on top is a stage 3 epiretinal membrane with eiffel and well distinguishable inner retinal layers. And the bottom picture shows eiffel with complete disorganization of the inner retinal layers and so it is a grade 4 ERM. Here the top picture shows a stage 2 uh, epiretinal membrane with a cotton ball sign and the bottom picture shows a stage 2 epiretinal membrane with a vitelliform lesion. So that's it for today. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from AP's Ophthalmology Pulse. You may watch my other videos by clicking on the thumbnails. Please leave a note in the comment section if you wish for any particular topic to be covered in future. Look forward to regular updates. Thank you for watching.